Hi guys, welcome back. I need to film. I need to talk. So this is going to be like a chatty get ready with me while I show you the products that I've been really loving and like my everyday face of makeup, even though I'm not wearing makeup every day. So my skin prep is on. Uh, my skin looks a lot better under these lights rather than in person, but regardless, this is what we're working with. <laughs> I posted a video last week and that video was actually several weeks old. And so I have not filmed for almost a month. No, it's been over a month. I haven't filmed in over a month, which is just kind of wild to me because at one point I was filming several times a week just getting content up constantly and like just being so excited to do this and I think the reason that I kind of fell off I think there was were several reasons so there was like some mental health stuff going on and some like big financial changes in my family and I wanted to step away from beauty for a little while so that I wouldn't feel so not pressured but persuaded to purchase makeup and I actually did not purchase any new makeup at all or replacements of makeup in the month of March and now it's like April 7th or something and I still haven't purchased any makeup so I have quite a beauty budget I don't know what I'm gonna do with it that's something that I'm hoping I can kind of plan for the future and see what sort of makeup and what sort of skincare and beauty and maybe fashion things that I want to kind of pour my financial resources into. Um, we'll see. But that was a really long intro. <laughs> if you guys are new here, my name is Sinia. I have a YouTube that's dedicated to sustainability in the beauty community. So I like to talk about makeup products specifically, some skincare, things that are packaged in an eco-conscious way, things that are packaged in such a way that it makes them easy to recycle or that they break down naturally. Those things really are near and dear to my heart. I am on a journey of sustainability and wellness and learning how to pour into this love of beauty that I have while not destroying the planet. So if any of that sounds good to you, I hope you'll consider subscribing to my channel and sticking around for more videos. Let's go ahead and get into this face of everyday makeup. <laughs> These are just the products that I really have been enjoying. The stuff that I grab every time I do put on makeup because it's just so easy. I'm going to start with this Waleda Skin Food Light. Just pay, take like a pea-sized amount. My skin's been pretty dry for the past week or so. I don't think it's hormonal or anything. I think it's just like weather changes and like also a little bit of like my skin purging. So for skin prep, I'm going to go in with the Skin Solve Primer from Pacifica. I love this stuff. It's packaged in a glass bottle and Pacifica also has a take back program for their products. You can send anything that you purchase from them back to them. You can send it back to them and they will make sure that it's recycled. So this does a little bit of like hydrating and blurring, not a ton, but some. And it smells floral, which I like. So the base that I've been reaching for every time I do my makeup is my Salt New York Sneaky Balm. I'm just going to take it on an Eco Tools Precision brush. Precision foundation brush. Yeah, so the last, oh man, the last month has been really interesting. I feel like I've been dealing with a bit of 
some burnout. I feel like I was just going really hard for a while on my YouTube channel, focusing on trying to learn how to edit and like growing. And I'm still a really, really like tiny, insignificant channel, but I feel like I just was doing the most for a while and I needed to step back and kind of focus on some other things in my life to make sure that I wasn't neglecting other duties. And it just was a little bit much for me for a while and I don't necessarily feel like all the way back. I don't feel back to, you know, the way that I was before. I don't feel like I want to film every single day. That's not my level of motivation, but I do, I'm starting to get re-inspired and I am really grateful that I took that little hiatus because I think it made me more conscious of the way that my inspiration level in beauty was tied to how much I was consuming and I just don't want this channel to be all about me consuming new makeup for review. I want a lot of it to be me talking about how to effectively use the makeup that you have. Some of it, I think some of it will be a bit of like an encyclopedic style makeup channel because I do want this to be like a one-stop shop for people who are interested in sustainable beauty. I just don't want that to become so important to me that like I lose sight of what sustainability means. It's a big reason why I feel like I wanted to do this video because it uses the products that I'm like digging into and it just shows that you don't have to have an extensively huge makeup collection to have a collection that produces a really beautiful result for you. And everybody's idea of like what a big collection is will vary, but That was a little bit of the fluff tinted lip oil. I'll just kind of lift it up and show you guys. It's really beautiful. I got just the refill of it. It's very natural. It's a very natural tint, but I like it for prepping my lips. Next, I'm going to go in with my Salt New York contour and just a little detail concealer brush just kind of put it in the places that I want that contour shadow effect with no real precision just kind of painting it in there And I'll go in with a bigger brush and tap it out. For a while, I had a running list. I still have it, I should say. I just haven't added to it in a while. But I had a running list of all of the low-waist makeup products that I wanted to try. And I was, like, pining over this list and trying to decide, like, what month I would purchase what product with that budget and not spending anything in the month of March I feel like really put things in perspective for how many of those things I just don't need and I love beauty but I just feel like this is this like YouTube business 
mentality is such a rat race and I just don't want to get sucked in and feel like I have to keep up with everybody. I'm grateful to have the financial means to do this as a hobby and I'm grateful that I don't have to rely on this for my income. I'm grateful to have a different job, even if it's a stressful one. I love how dewy and skin-like this looks. The Salt New York Sneaky Balm is incredible. Absolutely incredible. I'm going to set my eyelids really quick with just a banana colored eyeshadow. I don't have a low waist setting powder that I really like. I've tried a few. None of them worked for me, so this is just, it's just what I use for now. So that list that I've been having, I wasn't, I wasn't inspired by anything when I was looking at it earlier. I didn't like, nothing leapt out at me as being the thing that I would next purchase. And I think that that means that maybe I need to just look within the collection that I have and keep using what I have until I feel like there's a gap that needs to be filled. I'm going to go in with this Pacifica Dream Big Brushed Up Brows brow gel. I really have been liking this stuff. This is actually the only brow product that I am using right now. Just like the Pacifica Primer. Their newer products they're putting in glass, which makes it easier to recycle them, which is really nice. I've been liking a more natural brow. For a long time, I was like filling in my brows, but I don't know. I've been enjoying like just, just combing them through and like shaping them and darkening them with a tint instead of like filling in the skin in between my brow hairs. And sometimes I will just like back comb them a little bit. contour looks beautiful. I want to add a bit of blush. And the blush that I've really been liking was something that Cloven Hollow sent over, which I'm so appreciative. Thank you so much to them. But it is their cream blush in the shade Bestie, which is like a kind of middle tone pink. I'm just going to use kind of a flat but still a little bit fluffy brush. This formula is really light.
really nice. That is kind of the texture on my finger. So it's pretty pretty moosey. So for my eyes, I've been doing a one eyeshadow look, which is so unlike me. I never have been the kind of person that was like a one and done eyeshadow person. I like dimension but I've been using one of two shadows and they're both from mineral fusion they're new newish in the last couple of months this is the shade scenic view and this is the shade whoop, not dig my fingernail into it this is the shade road trip I'll do some swatches. They're both so beautiful. I haven't tried Mineral Fusion's new matte formula, but these are thus far very impressive in their shimmer formulas. So this is Road Trip, and this is Scenic View. Scenic View is a little more lavender, cool-toned. Road Trip is like a champagne pink gold color and I've been using both of them so this one is road trip and this one is scenic view they're really beautiful so I think I'm gonna use road trip I just my favorite so I'm just gonna take it on a finger tap a little bit on and then start in the middle and just kind of swipe That's what the eyeshadows look like. They're so pretty. <sighs> I'm obsessed. And I love how big these pan sizes are. They're really nice. So then I've just been doing mascara and some sort of lip and calling it a day. So I'm going to go in with the Pacifica Vegan Collagen Mascara. Again, glass tube. Really appreciate that. The shape of the wand is really nice for creating volume. I think just for fun, I'm going to put on a lip gloss. I'm going to use the Pacifica Vegan Collagen Lip Plumping Gloss. 
just like the others. This one comes in a glass bottle. This is what the doe foot applicator looks like. It's minty smelling. And it's really juicy. So this is it guys, this is my simple radiant makeup look that I've been using all the time using just the products that I have had in my collection for several months and that I want to get some use out of as I was going through this no buy situation and I just love the way that the skin turns out. I think it looks so fresh and dewy and it's great for every day. Um, let me know what you think in the comments below about this look if you want a more detailed um, review of any of the products that I mentioned. Just let me know what you think and let me know what products you would like me to try next in a video. I hope you guys are taking good care of yourselves. Bye.